Mum wanted you to have all her stuff from the house, the both of you. Yeah. To be honest, it's mostly old books and a load of junk, but I can easily drop it off at the charity shop if you want. We'll pop over and have a look. Well, you better be quick. Your mother and I start clearing the house on Saturday. Make sure you do the driving, Anna, yeah, OK? Of course. Read your thing. <laughs> I don't know, I might leave it. No, go on, just do it. What's this? Um. Hello, everyone. I'd like to read a poem in memory of Nana Abigail. Awake to hear the sweet harps play, to love before him on his way, and the night wind answering in antiphon, till night is overgone. Play on, invisible harps unto love, whose way in heaven is aglow at that hour when soft lights come and go. Soft, sweet music in the air above, and in the earth below. That was lovely. It was very sweet. It was very moving. Yeah. Why didn't you go and rest?
She'll be fine. She just needs to rest. Is she sure? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's really lovely. Listen, I'll just get my coat, okay? Mm. Thanks, hon. Bye, Dad. Mm. Nana would have been really pleased. Mm. She's up there right now, looking down on us all with a good little laughing. You all right? Let me prop you up a bit, make you nice and comfy. You need to drink that. It's nice and sweet. I think you should go back to the doctor and get your medication reviewed, or at least let them... Well, you know... What happens if I'm not here and you have a fit? What from staying at Dan's? At fine, night? fine, I'll go. I'm just upset about Nan. Yeah, I know. I'll tell you what. Why don't you get dressed and we'll pop around to Nan's before Mum dumps all her stuff? It gives her a chance to find something sentimental. Well, it looks like Mum's been here already. Oh, I know. I wanted to look through everything first. Is that a book of spells? No, I think it's stories. <laughs> Listen to this. Remedies prescribed for those who by prestigatory art have lost their virile members. This prestidy thingy ye old English for shagging? <laughs> I think it's like magic tricks or something like that. With their virile members. That sounds sexy. They had courted from a young age, and life was happy. Then came the Great War, and she would not see him again for many years. On his return, she loved him as she had always done, but a changeling had come back in his place. The eager boy had gone, and an angry man returned. Times were hard, and his anger worsened. He refused to see his children, and she would suffer daily by his hand. She took to walking in the woods at night, where she would fall upon her knees and plead to the heavens for an end to the hurt. The heavens remained silent throughout, but another voice answered in their stead. An old woman appeared and told her that she too had suffered at the hand of a man and that she would take away the husband forever and give the woman back her peace for a price. Desperate, she accepted. In return, the old woman demanded to be given care of the daughter. Seven days later came a great fire, and it was not just the man who would perish but the woman's sons, too. Only her daughter survived. Thanks, I'll have it in the bath.
haven't fallen asleep in there, have you? No. I feel as though you're slowly fading out of existence. As if... As if we're barely even here anymore. Days just drift by. Anna? Yeah, it is what it is. Get some sleep, hon. What? I want to come back. I'm fine. How long? <sighs> well, I wouldn't want to give the company a bad name, would I? Well? I'm officially signed off for three months. They don't want me having an episode in front of a client. Christ. Hello? Oh, hello, darling. I just want to make sure you were home. Because me and your dad are going to pop over. Bought myself a new nail varnish. Cheer myself up after Mum. Oh, you know. Deep rouge. You'll love it. Anyway, so we'll be over. That's, th that's fine. <laughs> darling, what's wrong? Uh, I, mean, I mean, I'm fine, Mum. Come over whenever. I I'm in all day. Mm. This is the colour I was telling you about. It's identical to the one that nail lady was using, charging us a fortune for. Nice, isn't it? Oh my God. Your nose. Roy. 
Hmm? Right, a tissue. A tissue. To the kitchen. Come on. Mum, calm down. Mum. Head back. Head back. Come on. Come on. Pinch your nose. It's right. Put your head back. That's it. That's it. That's it. <sighs> See, it stopped. All right. It's happened before. What's going on? <laughs> oh, come here. Oh. Why should you talk to me, you know? I can help you. I prayed for you last night, you know? All right. Thought I'd uh, put another pot on. Okay, love. Hey, come on. <laughs> I'll oh, handle right. this. Thank you, Roy. What? was about your age when this picture was taken. Where was your house? Oh, not far, near here. But long gone, it burnt down. And then they built the Wishing Tree Estate over the top of it. Is that your mum? My great-grandma? Oh, no, Linda. She's your grandmother. No, I'm Claire, Grandma. Linda's my mummy. Oh, dear. Um... Not to worry, my sweet. Just don't make her upset as long as you don't question her. You mustn't speak about her. She'll think you're being rude. You're not, are you? No, 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 no. Now, you go outside and play and I'll speak to her. She's just a child, a silly, foolish child. Go, Linda. Go now. She's my sister. I'll just turn my back on her now. Seizures are getting more frequent. To be honest, as things are now, I don't see much of a future for her. She's really fragile. Yeah, but what about our future, huh? What about it? I'm not going anywhere, are you? <laughs> not the next half hour or so. Yeah, well, um, about eight minutes. So let's forget. <laughs> right, deal.
I've got to go. Need to check on Claire. Fancy going out later? Yeah. Why not? Help take me minor things. Mm. Dan might pop along too. Um, I was thinking... Go easy on the booze. The fits and all that. Right. Hey, uh, Brad the lad. Not Dan. You, uh, you got a bird, mate? Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a <coughs> couple of girls on at the moment. All right, so no. Wow, hey, you are totally coming out with me tonight. Yeah? Yeah. So, hey, don't let me down. 6.30 on the PM. Do, do I need to go home and get changed? <laughs> mate, you're good as you are. Chill out. What, darling? I heard it was missing an angel, and here you are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really go and fall that cheesy old place tough with Dan? I don't know what you're talking about, sis. I can handle Dan the man, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. <sighs> Just a wobble. <sighs> Look, Claire, first thing in the morning, you were calling the doctor. And if you don't, I'm going to do it for you. <sighs> I don't get it. Something's not right. What's changed? It's happening more and more. No, 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 not now. It's not me. What do you mean it's not you? Hello. I'm seeing things in this house. What things? I don't know. An old woman, a child. I don't know, I'm not ill. It's more than that. An old woman and a child. You're just missing Nan and the meds and messing with you. Oh, for Christ's sake, my house isn't haunted. Look, Claire, I can deal with the mood swings and the depression and the seizures with this. I am not joking. I've been face to face with them. They are as clear as you are sitting in front of me now. Oh. And uh, they're in my dreams. In this house, everywhere I go. Get your drugs sorted and find that balance. We're both missing, Han. You've got to be stronger than this, Han. We can't look after you forever. Come on. You could do with the night out. You all right? Just the meds. Sorry, sis. <sighs> you big drinker then, Claire? Why do I look like a big drinker? I don't know. <clears throat> More of a lot, man, myself. Last night, I had absolute disaster. Mm. The shop was shut for refurbishment, if you know what I mean. It should have been anyway. It's like a car crash down there. <laughs> you didn't seem to mind, though. Yeah. You all right? I want to leave. 
now. Done. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'll let um... Now, turn your bedroom light off when you go out. Let's turn my light off. What are you talking about? Well, what's that, then? Let's call it a night, I think. Can I get you something, Bradley Bunch? Yeah, I'll have a squash. Are you all right? Yeah. I'll, um... You can come tomorrow, all right? Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, won't I? Jesus, Claire, that was a bit cold, wasn't it? Excuse me? Well, I mean, he's a nice guy. Would a goodbye kiss have killed you? Did you hear what you said in the pub? The man is revolting. How dare you fix me up on a blind date with no warning? And with someone who's clearly never been in the presence of a woman apart from his mum. And secondly, is that my league now? Damn the man. Is that how you've marked my scorecard? You know what? Fuck the pair of you. right now, Bradley Kins. Last night, when we got to your house. Yeah, about that. It was wrong to set you up with Claire, oh. mate. Her head's all over the place right now. Just take no notice, yeah? I'm sorry. Just let me finish, then. No, look, um... I should explain. She's not... 
She's not right in her head. She reckons she's seeing things, people. Really? Yeah. Anna and I thought it'd be good to get her out of the house for a bit. And that's why I thought it'd be nice to, you know. Ooh. What she is then? I mean, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. <sighs> that house, when we went inside it, Oh, God, no, 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 not you as well. <laughs> Dad, it was in the hallway. No, I'm okay? sorry, no. A child wearing a mask. OK, maybe I've just lagered up. But I've got to go at this. Dan Phillips. So, how's the um, new medication coming on? What's it called? Kepra? Is it having any impact on the fits? I don't know. How's Anna, love? All this can't be that easy on her. What's that supposed to mean? Sweetheart, she called us. She's worried. She really cares about you and... all this nonsense and seeing things. I can't believe she called you. What a bitch. Oh, come on, Claire, she is... <laughs> We've been discussing it, hmm? We've made a decision, we're going to go private. That's your dad's idea. I still want you to come to the church with me. We have found a really good specialist. He's going to sort you out, OK? Now, it's not your fault, my love. Dad! No, 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 don't dab me, Claire. Actually, we have an appraisal later on today, and I will be taking you. Father. Hello, Claire. Father! Whatever's the matter? Here we are. Careful, it's hot. So tell me, what's troubling you? Everyone thinks I'm going mental. Why would they think that? How would you react if someone told you they were seeing things? People that aren't there. And are you seeing things? Every day. I don't know what to do. Now listen to me. Let's assume for a moment that you are seeing actual spirits. It's very rare for these things to occur all of a sudden. They're usually brought on by people dabbling in the occult. These things open doors. Now, think very carefully. Could there have been a time where you may have invited evil into your life? No. Father. It didn't start until my nan passed away. The church is always here for you, Claire. Take these. Read Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High 
will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I better go. Remember, God is greater than any evil. Talking to father. Claire, what you are experiencing, it is a medical issue. Darling, I really want to help. I am trying to be patient, but if you let these god bothers stop feeding you their nonsense, we are only going to end up right back at the beginning. Obviously, don't tell your mother I said that. <clears throat> You're having hallucinations, for Christ's sake. Yeah, that's what they are. Hmm? What? Suggest so that. <laughs> Well, it's a pleasure to meet both of you together, but I just wonder, Roy, uh, would it be possible for Claire and I just to have a one-to-one, -one just on our own, just, just for a few minutes? Would that be okay? Yes, of course. Great. Just explain everything that's been going on, what you've been experiencing, and what you told Anna, and of course, the fits. I'll be just outside. Thank you. So, Claire, to, just to make it clear, this is in no way a session or anything like that. It's just a, a preliminary chat. Because it was your dad that, that first contacted the clinic and it was your dad that said you were seeing things. I, I just wanted to hear, in your own words, um, what's been happening? My mother and my father hold quite strong views. Life's been difficult. But actually, I feel far better today after speaking to a priest. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you understand that you are on a new cocktail of drugs to try and deal with all the seizures you've been having, and that they're working? Well, I've been through all of your GP's notes, and I, I fully support all of the medications that you've been prescribed, but it just appears that you're you're suffering from some unforeseen reactions. So that's what this is, is it? A reaction issue? Maybe. Um, and you know, that would be convenient for us to assume that, but I think I think we might be being naive. Um, you know, in my experience seeing things. Uh, often comes from a more deep-rooted problem. Um, tell me, did, did your priest recommend that you not see uh, a medical professional? He believed me. Claire, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that when you're experiencing these things, they feel very real, no doubt. But I'd, I'd like to get you into an MRI scan. Because I think that if you can accept that these things aren't real, if you can make that jump, then it's going to make your treatment a whole lot easier. Understand? You need to accept that you need medical help. OK? Find that. All right. Yeah. Come and have a sit down. I want to talk to you.
I spoke to Mum and Dad. I know. Why would you do that? Oh, we thought it was only right to let them know the situation. We? So Dan has joined the official committee of matters pertaining to Claire, has he? Do you know just how much shit will occur now you drag them in? I've now got Mum and the rest of the God Squad preaching to me. Dad just thinks I'm mental and needs dosing up. It will be fine, hon. Well, it wasn't. It was horrendous. Me and Dan both believe you're experiencing something. What did the doctor say? Doctor said there's a medical answer to all this. Father O'Shea wants to know if I could have let the devil into my life unknowingly. I got these and a cup of tea. I sat and I'm in the car so Dad didn't see. I don't know if I to laugh or cry. Why don't you ask Mum and Dad, see what they'd do? Oh, hang on a minute. Shut up. You know your mum's fave. Oh. At least you work properly. Yeah, Claire, this isn't you talking. It's the illness. No, this is definitely me. OK, fine. I'm going to head out to see Dan. Great. Weather. Enjoy your evening of rapey sex talk, followed by a 60-second chat. Kitchen closes soon. Yeah. <laughs> What's she done now? I should go back, Dad. She should be. She's just desperate. Jesus Christ, Annie, you got to toughen up. Yeah, she's leached off you her whole life. No, you're not going back. Right? We're gonna have a nice meal. Forget all about her. Yeah. <laughs> Not responsible. But, no, uh, listen to me. Just let us stew in her own juices for the evening. All right? She's doing it to herself. Hey, you and me. Yeah? That's all that matters.
Because it's the best place for her, right? I know, Roy, but I'll just make it any easier. Mm -hmm. So sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, Mrs. Tate, George Midhurst. Nice to meet you. So basically, the, the results of the MRI scan show that there are absolutely no obvious abnormalities with the brain. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, how much she, she has been extremely distraught. Um, we think we've got the seizures under control. She hasn't had another one since she came in last night. So where do we go from here? Well, I would like to get her on a, a dog's a deprivation of liberties. Mm -hmm. um, so there are some bits of paperwork that I'd like you to look at and consent forms that you need to sign in your own time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Certainly. Can we see her? Um, I think you find her extremely unresponsive. Um, she's on a drug called clozapine, which brings on extreme exhaustion. She's basically just going to be sleeping all day whilst being very closely monitored. Listen, if you if you want to just drop her things off, she couldn't be in a better place. Okay, Dot. Right. Thank you, Dot. You teddy. I'm going to read you a little story. He had created the earth and the heavens, and they were beautiful. The earth was a huge garden, fruitful in its bounty. But he was lonely and longed to have someone to share it with. So one day, he created a man from dust and named him Adam. And so that the man, too, was not alone, he created a woman, also from the dust, as his companion. And the Creator called her Lilith. But when the Creator ordered that the woman lie with the man, she refused. And the Creator felt that as an insult, as he had given her life. He cast her out from the garden, scorned for an eternity. So this time, the Creator took a rib from Adam and fashioned another woman. In times of fear and darkness, it reminds us of the Lord's power. Can you come and see her? Her father may not want me to see her. This is not about them. Please. Please come and see her. But she must accept the Lord for him to take a step towards her. Anna, are you all right? <sighs> Sorry, I have to go.
You get the summon in here. Are you going to tell Dan? I don't know. I wonder if it's a boy. Sorry? He's just thinking out loud, trying to work out why she made me attack you. Who? Claire. Honestly, who do you think made any of this happen other than you? Come on, sweetheart, it's time for your medication.
How close were you to your grandmother? Nana Abigail, yeah, pop in now and then, but she preferred to be in her own. But to be honest, her mind had already started going by the time we were teenagers. I knew Abigail from the village. In many ways, I saw her as my opponent. She was involved in some pretty unchristian practices. They say her mother was the same. I knew there was a fire when she was younger. I believe she lost her two brothers. It's the family history that makes me more inclined to believe that what Claire is experiencing is something out of the ordinary. Abigail once showed me masks that Dorothy made after her sons died. She referred to them as her family. She must have been severely traumatized. If you let the devil into your life, you have to fight to get back to God. I believe that Claire is the victim of Abigail's dabbling. We were never allowed to speak about this with Nana. Mum and Dad, well, Mum really was militant with her. We need to see Claire as soon as possible. She must be prepared to let me help her find her way back to God. But does that matter? Can we not just do something for her anyway? Please. How's it all go with the Padre? Um, yeah, he, um, called my dead grandmother a witch. I don't know, it's old. You know what I think, don't you? No, what? I think that you should move in with me. Kind of what you step in the whole house to ourselves. Sweet. But with everything that's going on with Claire, can we just put this conversation on hold for a couple of days? Oh, come on. She's in the best place now, right? Please, <sighs> Stan. Just let the doctors do their thing. Can we have a glass of wine and head back to mine, yeah? I want to go to bed. I like it done. Uh, getting wine, I, I dropped a bottle. And? And what? That's what happened. Are you all right, Tan?
Sorry. Oh, I'm looking for my parishioner, Claire Tate. Oh, oh I'm Father John O'Shea. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, I'm really sorry, but Claire's just not up for receiving visitors at the moment. Oh? She had a very restless night, and she's highly sedated today, so uh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, could I come back later, perhaps after she's had some rest? Maybe. Um, we're going to be monitoring Claire very, very closely over the next few days. Her family are very keen that I see her. Yes, but she's highly delusional. So maybe, maybe you could come back in a, in a day or two. Is that OK? Has she mentioned her visions, Doctor? Yes, she, she has. She said, she said a lot of things. But I believe that allowing you in to see her now, a very vulnerable, very suggestive young woman, I believe that would be perilous. You're not a religious man, are you, Doctor? I believe there's, there's a time for faith, but this is a time for medicine. And luckily, the modern world agrees with me. Medicine is a kind of faith, and you're behaving like a zealot. So you think I should be treating Claire with Christian prayer rather than antipsychotic drugs, is that it? Not everything can be explained by science, Doctor. Okay. Now, I wouldn't expect you to understand that. Where were you? I was asleep. I knew it, though. It's this house. We can't be in this house. Fuck off your work then, Dan, and give me my fucking house back. Fine. Fine.
us alone! Leave us alone! Leave us alone! <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping? What is this? What do you want me to do, Anna? Do you want me to call a doctor or what? I know we can't stay in this house, and. I've got to go. I'm sorry. I think it's time for your bed bath now. Don't you dare. Fucking touch me. Now then, this one will be called Father. And this one will be called Edward. My beautiful, beautiful.
we've been trying to tell you. It's going to happen again. Time's over, Father. Need anything? Dad! Fine. It's just a long absence. But I'm back now. She didn't even notice. Daniel, are you deaf? Sorry, honey. What do you need? Hmm? Well, this one's hungry. And so is this one. Fuck you. I've won. <laughs> 